This is Derek with the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. Um, after viewing uh, our iShine video, I decided that I wanted to slow it down a little bit, let everybody see it a little bit better, and see some of the additional iShines that I've picked up in the video. A little unconventional that I'm, you know, starting it off this way and not actually in the video itself, but I like to keep to the raw video. So I've basically taken a one minute segment and slowed it down to one quarter percent of speed and I'm just going to let it run through taking the audio out of it and I'll do my best to narrate a little bit in it and point out what I see within the video itself uh, that being said let's get right to it and I'll go ahead and uh, bust out the video and we'll watch it from there keep in mind the one minute segment goes about a four minute time span just because of slowing it down as much as we did, but uh, I thought it was very interesting, so let's go from there. Right off the bat, get prepared for the dark spot right here, right where it's moving just above it. You see the eyes shining in there, and it looks like it kind of ducks, moves off to uh, basically to the creature animal's right. It's kind of short, it's kind of quick to get to there, but you know, that's where you need to look, go back, re-look at it a few times. Um, but uh, distinctly see some eyes shining right through there. It's about, you know, maybe mid-chest height. This right here is about the time frame where Kelly's actually asking Mike to hold the camera for him so he could readjust the camera and uh, get it in a little bit more comfortable spot. We're going to be panning off to the left here shortly and in the middle of the tree you're going to be picking up a little bit of eye shine coming through the tree right there and then back again and lower left you'll see a couple more eye shines pull up out of the bottom left corner of that tree. So in that segment, you actually saw two different eye shines actually coming up and, 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 and viewing either off to the left-hand side of the tree or right in the middle of the tree, you could catch that eye shine. A little bit further here, we kind of need to go through most of the rest of this segment here um near to the end and that's where just after we get to the back of Mike um you'll pan up and that's where that initial eye shine that you saw at 712 in our initial video is and uh, I think slowing it down a little bit here gives you a little bit more idea of just how big this animal is um, that is caught with the eye shine um, it's it's good you know eight eight to nine feet tall as far as I'm concerned um, you distinctly see a branch standing out in front of the actual eye shine itself so it's clear that it's not an animal like an owl sitting on the branch itself it's distinctly behind it um, uh, here. It's going to be coming up here shortly. Keep in mind, we get 19 inch footprints out of this area here. So you're catching the eye shine already. Just in the upper portion of the actual film itself. And you can tell, you can still see little images of it actually there. So it's standing there staring at them for quite a while. I mean, almost close enough to touch just above its head right there. So. Kind of just creepy that something will just actually just sit there and not move. I mean, how many animals just sit there and don't flee? 
um, in a situation like that. As far as I'm concerned, that's pr pretty creepy that something's that, 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 that gutsy. So anyway, that's it.